Hi, everyone. Welcome to another iPhone app review on the DigitalLifestyle.tv. Today, we're taking a look at Buster Red. It's sort of like uh, Space Invaders Gone Wild, I suppose you could say. So, essentially, uh, you have three ships to choose from. Once you choose the ship, you're thrown into this cartoonish background where you're taking on a ton, yes, a ton, of enemies. And essentially, as you're shooting them, you'll see these little square boxes that come down sometimes. Those are extra weapons, and you definitely will need those. Um, what you see right there, that's the fireball, and also you have the buster beam, which is the most important thing, beam buster, rather. And as you can see, this just mows down uh, everything in your way. And up in the top left, you can see the combos. You can get up to, you know, 100, 200, 300 combos in a row, if not more. Uh, by using the Beam Buster, and without any of the special weapons, you're not going to get real far. Now, there is one little quirk with this game, at least this version of it, which will probably be addressed in an update. You'll notice that it is open faint enabled, and sometimes you'll get a little notification that you have the high score or what have you, but if you quit out of the game by pressing the home button or the battery goes dead, that score is not recorded, so it's only if you actually finish the game or hit pause and quit through the menu that that score is recorded, even if it says it's a high score. It's certainly a, a fun visual twist on Space Invaders, a lot more going on. So it's fun, fast play. You gotta definitely pick up those extra weapons, especially the Beam Buster when it's available uh, in order to mow down those enemies and make it through level after level. That's a look at Buster Red for the iPhone and iPod Touch. For the digitallifestyle.tv, I'm Ryan Ritchie.